Well, y'all, say it ain't so. Wifey calls. She's done with her hair appointment. Want to know if we what we wanted to do. I figured we'd go ahead and go pick up the Tahoe. It's ready at the Chevy dealer. Whoo! That price tag is up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We won't even get into that. It's, it's, it's depressing. But I figured, okay, we'll go ahead and go get that. Since I haven't left the house in a week, I figured we'll go ahead and go eat first and then try to get there to go get the Tahoe. I'd go drop off paperwork at the mail. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go in a priority box. Sending, you know, second day to the county. Yeah, he may get it before the new year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I had to finish paperwork after I got off phone with the wifey. Finish paperwork. And then, hmm, I go up, take a shower. I get dressed, and she still ain't here yet. She still ain't here yet. The hair place was only like 11 miles down the road. She still ain't here. So we still waiting on the woman. Ain't that just like a woman? That is. Man, that's freaking sad. But y'all want to know what's not sad? I'll show you. I got my wild beard package today, y'all. My wild beard stuff came in today. We got me a shirt with the wild beard. Got me a short sleeve. Let's see, it's got his symbol on the on the one sleeve. Yes, sir. If I can try to get it, you know, I'm trying to do this with, with my one phone. And a hand, you know, not so easy, you know what I'm saying? Got the American flag on the other side. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And then I got me a wild beard sticker. Yep, mm-hmm, that's right. So, if y'all don't already know Wild Beard, go check out Wild Beard Trucking on YouTube, Instagram, so forth, and et cetera. But yeah, I'm just here in the office trying to finish. I also want to pay where my office is a freaking mess. I got so much stuff that I've gone through, so much mail I've had to go through. Because, you know, I figured it wasn't that big of a rush. Freightliner still has not pulled my truck in. It's been up there for a week now, and it still has not been pulled into the bay. I can tell because I can see the alarm. It has not moved. I can I can see the tracking. It's still in the exact same pinpoint it was before. If I move a couple spaces over, it's going to show it. That's why I have all this high tech on my truck. So I know if that bad boy moves. I know if the alarm's been undone. Because I can pull up the status and look at the history. So, yeah. That's why you get you a good Viper alarm with all their nice goodies and everything that they have, y'all. So you know what's, what's what. Know where your stuff is. You pay high dollar for your truck. Know where it's at at all times, y'all. And of course, we have little Thor Buggins here in my lap. Come on, Thor Buggins, everybody. Come on, buddy. Tell everybody hi. Say hi. Say nose bop. He has been a booby today. He has been up on top of the file cabinet going after my printer right there. So he goes after that every time I go to print something, jump on top of the file cabinet, or he wants to lay on top of my mesky desk. Of course, I keep papers over here so he could lay on top of them. But yeah, there's my two. Yes, I have a ladder here because this is where I keep all of my home repair stuff. Oh, dear Lord. Now I got my fat boy in here. Hang on. We have my fat boy, Lizzie. He just came and he wanted to come and get up in the window. That, he is the original truck cat that we got back in 2012. And he rode on my truck from 2012 to 2015. He's the original truck kitty. Yes, him is. Him big boy. And his name is Lizzie. He is named Lizzie because when we got everything, he was a boy or a girl. Everything on the paperwork said he was a girl. But then we went to go get him fixed. They're like, well, do they call you about Lizzie? Um, our cat's okay, right? Uh, yeah, just the, um, she's a he. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we'll holler at y'all later. Peace out. Well, y'all, look who finally showed up. Kit Kat. I did. But I tell you, she was all I was out. She was, she was gone away. She was missing in action. She finally showed up to pick me up so we can go by the post office. Got to take our stuff. So, you know. Whichever one. Whichever one he says easier. Always got the post office. And it's always in this area. It's always a fight at the post office. It's the lines are so long they at the are, one here in town. They are very long in this town. So, this is insane. Oh, I don't care. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, we'll give you that friendly wave saying thank you for letting us cut across traffic. We appreciate it. Well, likely they're going to go anywhere. Traffic's all backed up to the freaking intersection of the light, so they might as well let us go by right. Right? Yeah. Might as well because I'm going to. That's right. 
So, yeah, we got to go drop off our stuff to the account. Yeah, we got to go get our stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right. That's what they say. That's right. That's exactly what they say. Hopefully, everybody's having a good day today. Yes. Hopefully, y'all having a cool day. We know we got Nevada up there. He's getting him some good old freaking green APU. Got that installed in his truck, so hey. We got a shirt from Wild Bear. Us, no? We finally got our shirt that we ordered and a sticker. Woo! Shout out to Wild Bear. I already showed that in the video that you didn't know about. Woo! Very good. I'm ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the curve. This <sighs> bump. On it. She didn't know I'd already put that in the video. Who knows? Gotta holler out to the brother truckers. That's right. Gotta get the love. Gotta get love to some 806. You know? I like 806's videos. He's a trip. Got Justin out there. Hey, all, all the love to all the brothers out there on the channel, y'all. Hey, Clutch Trucker, we appreciate yeah, all y'all. He's a good one. Yeah. Hope all y'all are doing good. He's on that remodel. Yeah. We got 806. We got 806 out there battling the winds out there in the Midwest. You got Nevada up there battling, trying to get that green APU, which I saw the video. I started to watch it, but then I had to hurry and finish and get ready. Or he got his green APU installed. He was up there doing it. Called us live the other night while they were up there in Chicago. So, hey, it's all good. Y'all get some love to all these mother truckers out there. Check out the Asian My Show. Good trucking channel, y'all. Good information talking about all that smog crap that they're testing. They're wanting to do out there in freaking California for trucks. Boycott now. California and Colorado. Yes. And there's a boycott in Colorado where trucks are boy boycotting. I want to show trucks lined up everywhere down the freaking road. Not wanting like to go that. into Colorado because of that 110 year sentence that gave that truck driver. So trucks were just lined up down the freaking road. I'm like, Ooh. he made a mistake. It was an accident. He doesn't deserve 110 years. I don't care what anybody says, but an illegal or somebody or somebody can leave their house and kill somebody and not get any jail time or get two years. It's not right. Now, granted, did the guy make a mistake? Yes, yes he, he went, made a mistake. He rode right past. He didn't purposely kill anybody. He rode right past that escape ramp. If you're going down the mountain, young, you lose your brakes. Inexperienced and scared. If you lose your brakes, and there's an escape ramp, take, take it. Take the escape ramp. Take the escape ramp. Don't run down and plow down and run over and kill four people. I think he was scared and experienced and was terrified that if he went up the ramp, that he would fall and cause more. Hate. Probably scared he was going to lose his job by hitting an escape ramp and fear. Of, he thought maybe, well, if I can get to the bottom, I'll be okay. It's not how it works going down a freaking mountain, especially Whoa. the mountains on the West Coast. If it's an East Coast mountain, you might be able to make it. If it's a West Coast mountain, no, 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 no. If you lose, if your brakes are smoking like his were, and you had none, <laughs> brother, you better hit the escape ramp. Yeah. But he doesn't deserve 110 years. Because I ain't going to lie, y'all. For the first time a couple weeks ago on my way out there to Reno, I actually smoked my brakes a little bit going down freaking around Vail and all that. You smoked your brakes? First time ever in all my driving, but I was going down in fifth gear. So after that, I've been going down in the I figured fifth That's gear I'd be okay with, with the Jake brakes on, you know. You want to smoke the pipes, not the brakes. Because everybody who has a long nose knows us long nose trucks, we have a manual fan switch. We can turn the fan on. So you always hit the manual fan switch, that slows the truck the motor down, and well, then you get the Jake brake, so that slows down. So I figured five, I've gone up before, but I guess this time I was a little bit heavier. I looked back and saw them suckers starting to smoke. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Before I lost, I went ahead and pulled over, let them bad boys cool. As soon as I saw smoke the first time, I'm like, no, 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 this ain't going to happen. No, I ain't doing this. I pulled my butt over. I thought smart, work smarter than hard. So from yeah, then she on, thought smart. Oh, my baby got smart. How about that, guys? It's not he very often smart. it happens, yeah. I know, right? It's but smart. yes, that's what we did. We I worked smarter He's not special. harder. I decided to to do the right thing and pull over and let the brakes cool down while I still had brakes. Because that's the thing. If you happen to see smoke one time, that means they're hot. Go ahead and pull your butt over. Don't don't wait until you, they're spongy and you have nothing left. As soon as you see smoke that one time, buddy, that's the indicator. No, pull your butt over. And I wasn't riding the brakes that often. I wasn't hitting the brakes, but I guess I was so heavy that just the stab braking I was doing was actually, you know, and I was, and I wasn't, I, I never let it go over 35. That's the thing. When I hit 35, I'd slow back down, but I guess just that weight and me building up, you know, kind of quick in fifth gear. So, yeah. 
that ain't happening again. So yeah, the last couple of times I've gone through the mountains since then, yeah, I've been in fourth gear. That ain't happening. Yeah, I've been in fourth gear. Yeah, keep it low. Anyway, y'all, we on our way. We on go out here. This is my one time I've been out in a week. So yeah, we're gonna go get us something. We gotta to get eat. the hermit out of his shell. Yeah. So my old man. I can't be home for a week and not take my baby out to eat. So yeah, we're going to That's Texas right. Roadhouse. But he yeah. needs to show mama. Y'all know time. I'm cheap, so I'm taking him to the early bird special. We got to get there before six and get that early bird. That early bird. Well, rate. I want to get there before six before the crowd. <laughs> we got to get that early bird rate. Because <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I spent enough on postage and shoes. I beg your pardon. We ain't gonna talk about how many pairs of shoes and boots have come in, in, in the mail that I've seen delivered to that house. How many new pairs I've seen since I've been home that have been in, in the closet and on the floor? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, we won't even discuss that. Okay, we won't discuss that. We'll keep that on the deal. But though. I did buy a drop visor, y'all, so for Christmas. So it's kind of a fair trade-off. Yeah. Fair I can't really say much. You can't say much. I can't say much about can't the drop visor for the truck. I'm sure that costs more than my shoes. But that's the work-related thing, right? Come on, y'all truckers. Back me up. That's a work thing. But it wasn't a need. It hers are, hers are, it, she it doesn't have, a her need. boots and shoes don't have a need that she has over 400 pairs. But it, but it wasn't That a wasn't need. a need either. It wasn't a need. Oh, yes, I need Her 400 shoes, plus pairs is not a need. I can always need shoes. That That's not like a need. That would be on the truck here. But I'm trying to keep the sun on my eyes while I drive so I don't wreck and kill, kill myself or kill somebody else. So oh, see, that's a need. wait a minute. So you've been that's wrecking and killing and chilling all this time. No. Without, oh, okay. But well, almost. But right? well, almost okay, because I can't see. Button. So I need that wait visor to help me wait see. Wait a minute. That visor is the only thing. Woo! Listen to this boy. Oh, my gosh. You cannot believe him right now. I'm the man. We win, right? No. No. We always lose, y'all. When it comes to the wife's conversations, we always lose. That's, right. that's, that's the nature of the man. We I lose. Mean, I mean, we lost it with Eve, right? We let Eve into the world. Look what happened. We fell. We fell from grace. Oh, my gosh. You did all because not. All because we let a woman into, into the garden. Not, hey, we rule. Yep. We let a woman. I know it. We let a and, woman. And you guys and love happened. us so much, you actually want to be us. No. Like, burr, only people burr, burr, burr. They, they only want to be women in sports and swim teams and track meets and wrestling Whatever. and weightlifting and things like that that's the ones that know they can't beat the real dudes they want to do that and they know that they they can't you know they can't defeat them so then they want to dominate the women's sports and then hey i'm the best uh no yeah see the kind of stuff that we tan tie rates we get into when we get together y'all we do this all the time yeah Anyway, y'all, we hope y'all have a good, safe, blessed day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to call it the end of this because we know we ramble and ramble and ramble. So we're going to cut the rambling off, O-F-F. Kind of like when baby says I've done for her, I cut her off, O-F-F, off. I know. Butter my muffin. I need to butter her muffin. <laughs> butter my muffin, frost my cake, dude. I need to butter her muffin and frost her cake. But, I mean... But she's always, every time I turn around, I come home. Freaking Aunt and Uncle Red flows around, so you know we always. Uncle Aunt and Red flows. It's all. What in the Hades? Whatever they y'all you know what I'm about? getting at. Y'all 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 grown adults watching this channel. Y'all know what I'm getting at. That's how it always happens to be time when I come home. That's so, not true. So she been cut off. He no, it's because he does the whack f. Whack f. Whack mop. Sorry y'all, if y'all. She's, she's being dirty, but we're actually talking about on the TikTok where it's got the, the whack F where people are always, they fall or they get hit with something, whack, and then there's the, the F bomb. Whack fracker doodle. And there's the F bomb the <laughs> whack after they get whacked and hit whack. with something or fall. Or freak a doodle. So, yeah, that's. Y'all know we watch a lot of TikTok and Instagram and YouTube videos. I mean, this is that's what we do. We, we kill time by watching stuff. We don't go out, we don't drink, we don't party, we don't smoke. We don't go hang out. We have no friends <laughs> that we go anywhere hang out with. So we're always home. So we always watch all the social Everybody's media things. And, working, so. Yeah, we watch all the goofy stuff Kinda to keep ourselves entertained. So, yeah. But that's okay. My son is planning on coming up and seeing me in about a month or so. So I got I to gotta make sure I'm home for that. He's already called me today. He said, hey, we're planning on coming up. So make sure. Y'all, so he's already gonna get get some thing off and schedule yeah, for that. Be awesome. So I get to spend some time with him and his wife and his his, his baby. They coming up to see us. So 
cool, y'all. Anyway, y'all have a good day. We'll call y'all later. Peace, Peace out. out.